In the distant past, people were both amazed and terrified by comets, perceiving them as long-haired stars that appear in the sky unannounced. Today, we know that they are giant bodies of ice, the leftovers from the solar system's formation 4.5 billion years ago. We have even visited eight of them, capturing incredible images, some of which are close-ups, revealing their bizarre icy surfaces or streaming tails. But we have also listened to some of the eerie noises that surround them allowing us to experience what a comet, an ancient object from the very edge of the solar system, sounds like. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy my videos, then remember to subscribe for much more to come. Comets are giant bodies of frozen gases, rock, and dust that orbit the sun. You can think of them like enormous, dirty snowballs tumbling through space. There are likely billions of frozen comets orbiting far beyond Neptune, in a region called the Kuiper Belt, or even the more distant, mysterious region called the Oort Cloud, a hypothetical shell of icy objects that surround the entire solar system. When frozen, comets can be the size of a town, but occasionally, a comet's orbit can bring it close to the sun, heating it up, causing dust and gases to spew into space, creating an enormous glowing atmosphere, sometimes larger than a planet. This magnificent celestial feature is called the coma. It was within the coma where the first ever sound recording of a comet was captured as NASA's Stardust spacecraft flew through the gas and dust surrounding Comet 9P Temple in 2011. The incredible audio clip provides a brief example of what it sounds like to pass by a comet, as icy dust particles streaming off the ancient object pelted the spacecraft. Resembling a hail of bullet-like particles, this sound recording highlighted the damaging environment that surrounds a comet. Interestingly, a few years before Stardust listened to 9P Temple, it also visited another, named 81P Wild in 2004, in which it collected the first ever sample of a comet's coma, before sending it back to Earth to be studied. This image gives you an idea of what the material that surrounds a comet looks like. In 2005, NASA's Deep Impact spacecraft released a lander designed to crash into Comet 9P Temple, and as this incredible footage reveals, the probe successfully smashed into the comet, causing a bright flash of ice and dust to burst into space. The probe even captured images as it approached the comet, showing us step by step until eventually crashing into its surface. But in 2014, we got to hear exactly what it sounds like to land on a comet, when the Rosetta spacecraft released the lander Philae, a soft landing probe designed to touch down on the surface of comet 67P Charumov Gerasimenka. This sound recording is only two seconds long, so I will play it a couple of times, but keep in mind that this is the sound of a space probe landing on a giant cosmic snowball that is tumbling through space. This short recording might not sound very significant, but that thud noise that you just listened to is the very first time we have ever heard the contact between a human-made object and a comet upon landing. But it wasn't just Philae that allowed us to hear sounds from this comet. Its mother spacecraft, Rosetta, discovered a very strange sound, one that at the time was described as resembling a song as though the comet 67P Jarumov-Gerasimenka was singing. 
This next audio clip you're about to listen to is thought to be oscillations in the magnetic field around the comet. Captured when the spacecraft was about 100 kilometers away, this is the bizarre sound of a singing comet. The comet's song would not be audible to the human ear because it is being emitted at 40 to 50 millihertz, far below the range of human hearing, which typically picks up between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. To make the sound audible to humans, Rosetta scientists have increased the frequencies by 10,000 times, allowing us to experience this strange comet song. Scientists think the sounds must be produced by the comet's activity, perhaps as it releases neutral particles into space where they become electrically charged or ionized. The precise physical mechanism behind the oscillations, however, remain a mystery. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then tap the like button and subscribe, there is plenty more to come. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.